Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day 18 of quitting drinking alcohol. Um, I had a viewer leave a comment on my last video about how much I was spending on drinking, and the comment, I got it uh, early in the morning, I woke up about 5 a.m., I had to use the restroom, and I uh, saw I had a notification, so I read it at 5 in the morning, and it was basically about how you know, money can be regained, but the time that we lose when we drink alcohol can't. And his comment really hit me like a ton of bricks because I really neglected my kids, my wife, my family when I was drinking alcohol. And like I said before, I drank for 20 years. This person had mentioned that they were drinking pretty heavy for like five or six years and they're in their, I think, early 30s if I remember right. And they would given it up and um, no longer drink. And so um, it just hit me with, with a lot of sadness and I guess regret of all the times that I spent drinking instead of spending time playing with my kids or being there for my wife when she was going through her trials and tribulations. Was I the worst father and husband in the world? No. Was I the best? Far from it. And, um, and that's... That's one of those tools I talk about in your tool tool bag, and you can determine how often you want to use this tool or not, but it is regret. Um, I do believe that regret is one of those things that we really can't dwell on too much. All you can do in the moment is live the best possible life you can and learn from your past experiences, but um, to sit there and go into a dark place of regret probably isn't uh, helpful or beneficial. But I think regret exists for a reason, and I think it can be a tool and a motivating factor for continuing on the journey of not drinking alcohol, just by realizing that, you know, the things you did in the past that you're regretful for, we don't have a time machine, we can't go back and change those things, but we can look to the future um, and become better in the present moment by choosing not to drink anymore and staying on that path, that path that you know without a shadow of a doubt is the right one and that you should be on. Again, I've said it so many times, but nothing good in my life has come from drinking. And um, if you have kids, a wife, a husband, um, you know, mother, father, brother, sister, cousins, nieces, nephews, I mean, the list goes on and on. I'm sure there's some of those folks that wish you would put down that drink and, you know, be the best version of yourself possible. And um, through my experiences and, and everything, my regrets, I'm telling you, you know, if you're looking at this video and you've been thinking about quitting drinking and you're in your 20s or 30s or, um, you know, younger than I am, I'm 43. And, um, you know, listen to that inner voice now before you have more and more regrets as time goes on because, um, you know, I can't go back and play with my kids. They're not little anymore, you know, and um, I can't go back and change those things that cause me pain, you know. And the more you drink and the further down that road you go, the more pain and suffering you cause yourself and you cause others that love you. And um, this video here, you know, it's kind of a more depressing one, I guess, uh, but it's one of those things that needs to be said, and, um, you know, it just, it is what it is, and putting down the, the drink now before you have more regrets, have more problems in your life, um, it's up to you, though, you know, you got to be wanting and willing to do that, and unfortunately, it took me 20 years before I've come to the realizations that I have now, so, Learn from my experience, and if you're older than me, if you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, it doesn't matter, you know, before you leave this earth, you know, be the best you can be, and alcohol, I know for a fact, isn't part of being the best you can be, so, um, with that said, guys, um, you know, take this one for what it is, um, yeah. I know that one hit me and I, I didn't know how I was going to do this video today it, it, and I probably didn't come out the way I wanted it to and um, I don't want to talk about all my regrets and stuff but some of these videos are easier to do than others but this
this one here is is real, you know. Um, 20 years wasted drinking. What could I have done productive in those 20 years? You know, more things, time spent with my family, quality time, not that time where you're zonked out and half there because you're inebriated, you know. And um, my kids, like I mentioned before, would have to ask me the same question time and time again because I'd be zonked out. Dad, what about this? Or Dad, huh, huh, you know, it's just stupid, dumb. And uh, so save yourself some pain, save yourself some, you know, um, regret and put down that alcohol. Don't put it in your mouth anymore. You can deal with the pain and discomfort because I'll tell you right now from experience, the pain and discomfort you're going to feel and regret from years and years of drinking is uh, far worse than the discomfort you're going to feel in the beginning stages of quitting to drink alcohol. You know, um, you probably, you know, if you're one of those people who got kids right now or somebody, you know, that, uh, you know, wants you to spend that quality time, do it. You know, you, you don't get those second chances to go back and change things. And so anyway, guys, the sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.